Hey everybody, thank you for joining us again. Uh, this is Bajir from LearnBridge Online. I'm with Jack Stockin. Hey Jack. Hello everyone, hi Bajir, nice to see you. So we're very lucky. Jack let me know that he has a very interesting hand for us. We'll take a look at it together and Jack as always will guide us through it. Jack, anything you want to say to set up this hand? Uh, no, I don't want to spoil any of the surprises. But <laughs> okay. It, it's a really interesting hand. It's, it's really how you possibly can recover from a mistake in bridge. You know, I think in bridge, never give up is the answer. Even if you've made a mistake, uh, sometimes the opponents will make a mistake later, but keep going till the bitter end. Okay, well, I, I like that philosophy. I make a lot of mistakes, so learning how to recover better from them is pretty important. <laughs> yeah. All right, here's this hand. Talk us through it. Right, so West is the dealer, and yes, what would you open with that hand, Bajir? You've got um, nine points and eight clubs, I believe. My gosh, I I just love it. Um, so you're, you're I mean, we're, 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 our strength comes from our length, but it is still a weak hand. Would I open three clubs, four, probably four clubs? Does that say an eight card suit? Spot on. That says exactly what you've got. He has an eight card suit and a weak hand. So typically 10 points or less. Okay. So well done, Bajir. You've, you've passed the test. All um, right, didn't make a mistake yet. Okay. Well, it's just like a three club opening. The only difference is it's an eight card suit. Uh, with okay. a, a preemptive four. North actually has to pass. Uh, yeah, but it puts them in an awkward position. They're very awkward. They've got a nice hand, haven't they? 14 points. Um, yeah. But they can't double here, Bashir, because double here would be primarily for takeout. So, mm. wow. yeah, it would, it would show a shortage in clubs. Mm. That would be two, one, or zero. And at least three cards in the other three suits. So here we haven't got a suitable hand to make a takeout double. No, mm. we've got in clubs and we got shortage in hearts. So mm. that's a pass. Um, tempting as it may be to bid four hearts. Now it's put up or shut up when you respond to a three or four level opener. Mm -hmm. um, Connor may not have any hearts at all. So East passes. Mm. And I think it's fairly clear to everyone watching that South's going to bid four spades. Lovely hand, isn't it? Yes, South has to. That's right. It has to. Yeah, seven card suit. It's it's a fairly a relatively obvious bid to make four spades. The preemptor yeah. must bid again. No, they've done their damage. They've you know forced the opponents up to a high level. But the north hand, what do you think north might do? Do they pass or what do you think? I'm guessing I would be so nervous. <laughs> I would pass at this point. Yeah, I think a lot of players would be here. But the thing is, partners come in with four spades. So they must have a good six card suit and at least opening values. And, I think and we have lovely spades too. Yeah. And you know your partner's almost certainly going to be short in clubs. Uh, the king of clubs is probably going to be worth a trick. You mm. know, the has almost certainly got the ace of clubs. So I think actually, and this is for the more experienced, because bidding slam, bidding to slam is all about experience. You know, yeah. sometimes it takes a, a lifetime of experience to know when to bid a slam and beyond that lifetime as well. You know, right. it's really hard. But four no trumps is Blackwood. Uh, we're just playing normal Blackwood today, asking for aces. So and for, for for the learners out there, that's that's just making sure that there aren't it, it, making sure that the opponents don't have two aces. Yes, which would rule out the chance of us making our slam. Yes, that's a good point you've made. Um, if South doesn't have any aces, then we want to stop short of slam, don't we? In five spades, because we okay. don't want to be missing two aces. So yes, Blackwood is uh, asking for aces purely to see that we're not missing two. Yeah, good point. And South, well, five clubs is no aces, five diamonds is one ace, five hearts would be two, etc. So it's a five diamond response, isn't it? Great. Uh, one ace. And so that means uh, swing for the fences. <laughs> well, are you going to chicken out? Well, you're, you are missing one ace, Bajir, but are you going to bid five spades, which would be a sign off? Or are you, get, are you still going to jump to six spades now? I guess my feeling is if we got this far, we're going to bid to slam. Otherwise, what was the point? <laughs> I, li I like your theory, yes. And, and, and we're only missing one ace. And between friends, you know, missing an ace is absolutely fine. Great. Good. And that's it. So All right, and now the challenge of making it. Wow. Well, it's always going to be a challenge. I, have, I think you've probably got a sneaky feeling this is not going to be an easy 12 tricks. <laughs> no, no. no. 
Um, but what would you lead with this one here, Bashir? Would you you really got a choice? Would you lead the Ten of Diamonds, uh, Singleton, or would you lead the Ace of Clubs? That is a good question. I'm guessing, especially since I've already expressed my club suit, I'd probably play a club and yeah. whether to t tell me the, the the ace is the top of a broken sequence. Is that what it's called? It is. is. Yes. yes, it is a broken sequence. So if you were leading in no trumps from ace, queen, jack, you'd lead the queen. It's uh, you know, it's called a broken sequence. But against a slam, yes, okay. and a lot of the time, I wouldn't say always lead an ace, but generally it's best to lead an ace if there's no other decent lead because otherwise, A, you may not make it uh, if you don't lead it. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, B, partner might have a singleton club, in which case you can give them a rough. And sometimes, Bajir, when you lead an ace, you'll find that partner has the king as well and you take the first two tricks. Right. So. Yeah, and I don't huh. particularly like the singleton here. I think it's highly unlikely. Yeah, you know that North South won't be missing two aces. So really, I right. think West should know. North South are decent players, by the way. Uh, they don't mm. get to, they don't get to slams missing two aces. So almost a hundred percent. There's no point leading a singleton um, if you know partner hasn't got the ace. Okay. And also against a slam, I would rarely lead a singleton anyway because it's unlikely that partner's going to have the ace. And quite often you end up just finessing their queen uh, or their jack and giving away a trick. So, mm. um, yeah. So ace of clubs is the best lead. Everyone follows. Of course, dummy comes down. Well, yes, we must say thank you to partner for the nice dummy. And it's a really nice dummy, isn't it? It is. And the, there don't appear to be many gaps. So West does best to continue with the Queen of Clubs. Okay. And which one would you put on that? I so, I would I would win it and get to work drawing out the the trumps. Yeah, it looks like the natural thing to do, doesn't it? To play the king. Um, it gets trumped with the Ten of Spades, and we over-trump it. So it doesn't seem to be much of a problem there, does there? Now, maybe it's just because I know you well enough. <laughs> Did I already make my mistake? <laughs> You've just made a small mistake, and I think many people watching this video would have naturally, on autopilot, played the King of Clubs. It's a winner. But it's been trumped now. And the, thing, the problem is now is that if diamonds don't divide 3-2, we no longer have a discard. Uh, for the fourth diamond. If diamonds divide 3-2, mm. we're going to make this contract with ease. But if diamonds divide 4-1, Houston, we have a problem. Okay? Yeah, look at that. So, of course, what we should have done at trick two is played a low club there to keep mm. the king of clubs as a winner. And tr and then we would have over... Uh, he still would have trumped with the ten of spades. Right, right. And because the, the king of clubs stays a winner and we had yeah. other options with South hand. Correct, correct. And then, of course, if diamonds don't divide 3-2, we would have had a discard uh, mm. for the losing diamond with the king of clubs. But all is not lost, this year. So, uh, Okay, see us. How do we recover? Well, yes, well, I'm only focusing on the north-south card. So what I'm going to do now is clearly draw trumps. Mm -hmm. Or trump, should I say, in the singular. Uh, oh, there's a signal look, Bajir. Eight of hearts. Partner, please lead a heart if you possibly can. So that's a discard. And I play natural discards, high encouraging, okay. low discouraging. I mean, you might play other methods yourselves, but that's the one I like to teach. And funnily enough, the like, one I like to play as well, because I've been so used to it. And now, it's information for uh, for us as declarer to remember. Yes. Oh, good. I'm, yeah, I'm glad you're thinking out of the box. That also tells declarer that East uh, has the King of Hearts. Yeah. Might be useful on occasion. Mm. And not yet. Now then, we've drawn the trumps. Let's just see what happens to diamonds. So we play the ace of diamonds. I'm hoping okay. they'll be three and two, because they will be 68% of the time. Unfortunately, this is not one of those times. Oh, dear. Mm. Well, that, that is bad news. And it does look as though now we've got a diamond to lose, doesn't it? Gosh, it, it, it does, yeah. We can't get rid of the... We've got the ace of hearts. But we can't get rid of that losing diamond. So if we just play out all our trumps and our king of diamonds, we'll lose a diamond. 
Um, so really, if, we're, if uh, only we still had that uh, that uh, <laughs> King of Clubs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so if only we had the King of Clubs this year, we'd be we'd be a lot better off, wouldn't we? Um, sure would. So we did make a little mistake at the um, at the beginning mm. um, by playing that King of Clubs. If we'd had the King of Clubs, oh look, I found it, Bajir. There's the King of Clubs. Oh, just just slip it back in there. <laughs> yeah. I'll fix it in post. Yeah, I found the King of Clubs. Well, unfortunately, it's in another pack of cards. <laughs> so that's no good to us, but. In situations like this, Bajir, what I would say is never give up hope. It okay. does look as though we've got to lose a trip. But what we can do, is, and, and well done if you spotted this. I mean, what would you do now as declare everyone? Well, the thing to do is play out all your winners. And you mm. never know, we might put the opponents under some pressure. Okay? Would you agree that's the best thing to do? It makes sense. Let's, it makes let's, sense. Let's, There's let's, no other way forward. We're going to have to, it's like a magic trick. We're going to have to conduct a magic trick to try and uh, create a winner or put the opponents under pressure so they discard the wrong thing. Mm. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to reel off our trumps. Okay. First of all. Here we go. Um, now, I've got to be slightly careful here because I don't really want to end up on dummy. So what I'm going to do, Bajir, is I'm going to unblock the nine of spades because... I want to keep the lead in my own hand to reel off all these winners. Wow. Okay. Makes sense. Quite, makes sense, doesn't it? Quite a subtle point. It, I think some players might not do that at the table because mm. otherwise I'd, I'd end up in the dummy where I don't want to be. So I've unblocked the nine of spades. I'm now going to continue running off the trumps. And at the moment, East and West are very happy, just merrily discarding their losers. Okay? They're very happy. You can discard a club as West. Although now they're starting to sweat a little. Little bit. Yeah, the sweat glands are going up a little bit by East and West. I'm going to get rid of a diamond. And no problem getting rid of a heart there. So, so far, so good. I'm going to play the five of spades now. Mm. And again, wow. and again, at the moment, um, West isn't under too much pressure. They can get rid of one of these hearts, can't they? Yes. And I'm going to throw that diamond. It's no good to me. Okay. Right. And look um, at that seven of clubs. That's that's turning into an important card, isn't it? Exactly. You know, that, that's a threat card, that seven of clubs. Hmm. So East, well, East is now squeezed, aren't they? Because hmm. if they throw a diamond, then I make my king and my seven. But they hmm. can throw a heart because the hearts are still being guarded. Hmm. Okay. All right, the hearts are still being guarded by West with the Queen 10. Look what happens when I play the King of Diamonds. Now, we have got a squeeze position here. So what on earth does West do? If oh, it's so cool. It's so cool, Jack. If they discard the Jack of Clubs, I discard the Six of Hearts, and my Seven of Clubs, believe it or not, is a winner. So what they would do in practice is hope that partner's guarding the heart. So they have to discard the Ten of Hearts. Mm. Hoping that partner's got, you know, King Ten or King Jack or something. Hoping right. that partner's still got length in hearts. My Seven of Clubs has served its purpose. So that can mm. now go away. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. And, of course, East has to play a diamond. Um, so East has still got their winning diamond. Okay, so my dance not a win. But look what's happened with the heart situation. Because East and West have both had to get rid of their hearts. I can play to the ace in dummy. And believe it or not, that lowly six of hearts, which I've been careful to preserve all along and not chuck it, mm. is our 12th trick. Gosh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, breathe a sigh of relief. Um, oh, no kidding. Oh, it's, it's really so neat. And no matter what West would have done... You 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 made uh, lemonade out of lemons. Co correct, lemonade out of lemons. I like that. Yeah, whatever East or West did, they were the victims here of what we call a double squeeze. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, that's a, yeah, and, and a, double squeeze squeeze. Is, a double squeeze is really difficult to pull off at the table. I mean, one of the most difficult things in bridge. I think the mm. most difficult things are squeezes. Um, mm. All sorts of squeezes. You know, there's double squeezes, there's positional squeezes. Um, the strip squeezes, they sound interesting, don't they? 
Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. We might have to put not safe for work on the video if we uh, talk too much about those. Yeah, yeah so w warning for content. Um, there's progressive. There's, I could go on. But, I mean, this squeeze here, um, you know, really was a fairly, a relatively automatic one by just playing out our winners. And sometimes mm. you perform a squeeze uh, just by playing out your winners like this, but perhaps not even knowing uh, the table that you've actually done so. But we put both players under pressure, you see. What happened here, Bashir, was that there was a double squeeze because West had to hang on to their clubs, didn't they? Otherwise, our seven of clubs would have been yeah. East had to hang on to their diamonds because if they throw a mm. diamond, then our diamonds are good. And both players, East and West, had to, had to hang on to their hearts. So that's why both players were squeezed. One had to hang on to clubs. One had right. to hang on to diamonds, but they both had to hang on to hearts, which they couldn't do. And so eventually Impossible. that six of wow. hearts was, um, can you believe it? It's like a magic trick, isn't it? That the six of hearts would be the trick. You saved the day, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> well, Very yes, cool. we yeah, it was a, a really interesting hand. And actually, as you say, we could have made life a lot easier for ourselves um, by playing low at trick two and not playing <laughs> at trick like that. Yeah. But I'm actually wow. I, how cool. I, I think we should call this video Jack Saves the Day, again, in brackets. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm rather glad you played the King of Clubs at trick two because it did make the hand a lot more interesting, didn't it? <laughs> well, they, they, that's what I'm here for. Um, yeah. For, for anyone watching, this this sort of hand gives you a taste of the hands which Jack puts together for us in his weekly online lessons. If you enjoy hands like this, just a quick plug. Um, everyone's welcome. Just come on by learnbridgeonline.com forward slash Jack dash stock. And Jack, what a cool hand. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, I'm always happy to help out. Always happy to help out and uh, and and you know, give you interesting hands. That certainly was one. I must just say that when I do my teaching online, um, well, on Monday mornings and Wednesday afternoons for improvers, they're not all as difficult as that. <laughs> you know, okay, <laughs> this is a tricky one. Well, yeah. all right. So, so help us just with a takeaway from this. Um, it is a complicated hand. There's a lot to think about. But yes. what's something we can take with us? Yes. On this hand. A couple of things, the techniques to take away. The first one is, is really never play too quickly at trick one or, 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 or at trick two. Because it was a, really was a bit of a knee-jerk reaction to play the king of clubs there. And was. Many players would have done the same thing mm. at, at the table. So really just preserving that king of clubs. It's really just thinking out of the box a bit. Because if diamonds were 3-2, of course, we've got 12 easy tricks. But if right. diamonds were 4-1 like they were here, was essential to keep that king of clubs as a winner, mm. um, you know, for a dis. And the second thing I'd say, Bashir, really is never give up hope. So even though um, squeezes are, are difficult, um, yeah. here by just playing off your winners, um, yeah. it was a fairly automatic squeeze, actually, in the end, wasn't it? We just played out mm. the winning spades. We did have to be slightly careful to unblock the nine of spades. That was a bit of a, a, um, a, a trap that was set for us, a bit of a banana skin. Mm. Um, but uh, I don't think really, I mean, obviously, you know, squeezes are quite often the domain of the expert player. But you don't really have to understand particularly here how the squeeze worked. You just have mm. to play out the winners. Yeah. Um, mm. But never give up hope uh, would, be the, uh, would be the key thing, really. Never give up hope. I, I, another good title for the video and maybe uh, uh, something we can take with us, not just to the bridge table, but in life in general. Yeah, yeah bridge, as I often say when I teach, Bajir, Bajir quite often mirrors life. You know, you make, you make mistakes. You learn from them. Well, we're lucky to have such a wonderful teacher as yourself. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you, Jack. As always, uh, your, your hands are fantastic, and you got us through it so, uh, in such a lovely way. So thank you. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.